see high priests of Ammon for high priests from the new kingdom, while not regarded as a dynasty. The high priests of Ammon at Thebes were nevertheless of such power and influence that they were effectively the rulers of Upper Egypt from 1082 c. 943 BC, after which their influence declined. By the time Herahor was proclaimed as the first ruling high priest of Ammon in 1080 BC, in the 19th year of Ramesses XI, the Ammon priesthood exercised an effective stranglehold on Egypt's economy. The Ammon priests owned two-thirds of all the temple lands in Egypt and 90% of her ships plus many other resources. Consequently, the Ammon priests were as powerful as Pharaoh, if not more so. One of the sons of the high priest Pinijamai would eventually assume the throne and rule Egypt for almost half a decade as Pharaoh Susanus I, while the Theban high priest Susanus III would take the throne as King Susanus II, the final ruler of the 21st dynasty the high priests. 21st Dynasty Pinajam, my son of Pianki by Herit, father of Jedkosyufank, Masahata and Susanis I, wife, Isotemkub II, Masahata, son of Pinajamai and Isotemkub II, high priest from at least year 16 until year 24 of King Nesiban Ebjedet I. Jedhon Shorfank, second son of Pinajamai, brother of Masahata, Menkepera, son of Pinajamai, became high priest after his brother during year 25 of Nesiban Ebjedet I, Smendis the second son of Menkepera II and Isotemkib III, served as high steward under his father and ultimately became high priest of Ammon himself, served under Ammonamipit, Asorkon and Siamine. Pinajam II, son of Menkepera and Isotemkib III, followed his brother Nesiban Ebjedet II as high priest of Ammon. Susanis III, 22nd dynasty Iluput, son of Shoshank I, high priest of Ammon for most of his father's reign, and into the reign of his brother Asorkon I, 944-924 BC. Shoshank C, son of Asorkon I and Matkari B, served as high priest of Ammon at Karnak for a large part of his father's reign. Ililut, son of Asorkon I, probably became high priest of Ammon late in the reign of Asorkon I and served until the early years of Teklot I. Nesiban Ebjedet III, son of Asorkon I, served as high priest of Ammon during the middle of the reign of his brother Teklot I. Haziza B, son of Sasheng II, promoted to high priest of Ammon under Asorkon II, 874-860 BC. Nimlot C, son of Asorkon II, became high priest of Ammon after year 16. The name of his predecessor, Du, or, was erased. 855-845 BC. Teklot F, son of Nimlot III, followed his father as high priest of Ammon before probably becoming a Theban king as Teklot II. 845-840 BC. Isorkon B, eldest son of Teklot II, probably became high priest of Ammon after his father assumed kingship. 840-785 BC later took the throne as Asorkon III. Asorkon F, probably son of Rudamun and grandson of Asorkon III, Haziza, son of Du, or, i.e., Padobast. 835-800 BC. Third Intermediate Period Timeline. 